Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello. And today we have some really awesome good news. We've just been so busy and we just haven't had the time to sit down and make a video. So it's been a while. It's been a while. Today we are gonna share with you guys some good news and we finally hit one of our biggest goals of 2020 all in the span of 10 months roughly. which was roughly around 10 months which was paying off all of our debt and by debt that is our credit card debt credit card debt and our student loan debt we just wanted to create this video on how much we paid off um, within those 10 months and what we've learned I guess you could say yeah. during those 10 months yeah process of how we did it and all the obstacles that we faced well I faced okay well, <laughs> obstacles that I faced to get to where I wanted to be to reach my end goal of paying off all of my debt and our debt as well so yeah. um, we just wanted to make this video so to sum up um, the amount we had at the start of 2020 um, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we accumulated a little bit more credit card debt than we wanted to. Um, Roseanne accumulated roughly about $15,000 in credit card debt, yeah. plus her student loan debt of $6,700. $6,700. And my credit card debt that I accumulated was about $14,000. Um, and my student loan debt that I had remainder was 12500 So that brings our total to about $48,200. Yeah. And we were able to pay that off within the span of 10 months. Uh, we made it our goal in December of 2019 mm -hmm. to pay off the remainder balance of, well, I guess the remainder of our debt mm -hmm. um, by the end of 2020. And we were able to do that by the end of October yeah so we paid off forty eight thousand two hundred dollars by the end of October yeah when um, we planned it in the middle of December 2019 we wanted to make sure that uh, we wanted to pay off all of our debt before the end of 2020 and we weren't really sure how to do it or um, what to do and this was just like at the peak of when COVID started happening. Before, or, I guess. I guess before it started happening and... We had some trips planned out. Yes. We were supposed to go to... We were supposed to go to Spain, vacation. London, uh, Florida. We had like a lot of trips booked pre... Um, like in 2019 already. Yeah. Since COVID was introduced in like 2019, it kind of like... 2020. Or I guess 2020 where they really... Um, shut down everything kind of thing like with, where they took it really serious it kind of forced us to really prioritize our savings and how much um emergency funds were important to us and um getting out of debt was very very important to us as well so for my finances um I was out of work for like two months and I was living off of CERB so if you guys don't know what CERB is it's it's, it's like a Canadian relief aid for Canadians. Which paid out about $2,000 a month yes, before tax. Before tax. We were fortunate enough to have emergency funds um, mutually. So both of us had emergency funds and separately. Paulo... Um, I was still working. Yes. So I had no issues. Yeah, we were able to live off our mutual emergency funds for a good... For that amount of time, I would say. Mm hmm um, so we had no worries there mm -hmm. and then since I was still working we didn't have any issues with paying our bills or anything at all either mm -hmm. and plus Roseanne was getting served so that was she was able to um, use that as well for her remainder bills yeah. that she had to pay during yeah. those two months but um, overall I think we were fortunate enough that we didn't have to struggle mm -hmm. to uh, find money to pay our bills mm -hmm. because I was still working and uh, CERB was available and then after two months I guess what I went back to work you went back to work and yeah. everything was going back to normal mm -hmm. and since COVID hit um, it, it forced us to 
um, cancel our vacation plans, which we got refunds for. Mm -hmm. And, Which pretty uh, much sped up the process of getting our debt payment plan. Exactly, we were able to put that yeah. money into our debt repayment. Yeah. So I guess that allowed us to pay it off a little bit earlier mm -hmm. as well. Because of COVID, we had to make adjustments to our budget, our mutual budget, and our monthly budget. So fast forward to October, we were fully to pay off a total of pretty much forty eight thousand two hundred of. Now it wasn't a lump sum yeah. all in October. I think yeah. for me I paid off my fourteen was it fourteen? Yeah, fourteen thousand uh in credit card debt sometime in June I would say. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to pay off the remainder twelve thousand five hundred of my student loans in October. Well I paid off all my credit card debt by I paid it all off by me. Yeah. So paid so, that all off by May, and then I realized that um, because of CERB and that the government was um, pausing all of the student, student loan loans. debt, so you weren't accumulating any interest. We both took advantage to just save the amount that we usually normally put every month to our student loan debt, and we used it as a grace period for us to focus. On putting into our savings and then by the time um, they started charging the interest rate in our student loan debt they were gonna charge interest at the end of October I believe so we wanted to make sure that we wanted to pay it off before October so that was the goal and we took advantage of the grace period of paying off our student loan debt yeah. and that is it I don't think they can hear that so what did we learn from this whole experience of 2020 about our finances? Um, I think the first thing we learned was to have a realistic plan on your finances, especially debt repayment. You want to have, you want to set up a plan before you, you go ahead and uh, go through the journey of debt repayment, mm -hmm. I, I would say. Um, again, it's not going to go 100% the way you want it to, but um, at least you have a physical, a visual of how you want to do it and by when. Yeah. And um, once you have that, it'll be, it would be a lot easier to um, go forth on that journey, yeah, exactly. I would say. And it made us realize that sometimes you need to sacrifice things like traveling like we didn't we weren't able to travel this year um of course we did like some road trips here and there like we had to sacrifice traveling and eating out and socializing um because you technically can't socialize when you're technically on lockdown or during covid times sometimes sacrifices need to be made and yeah. i think covid forced us to make those sacrifices yeah exactly which is um great for mm -hmm. you know the plan that we had because instead of us making those sacrifices ourselves mm -hmm. covid forced us to do those yeah to, to make those sacrifices mm -hmm. and in the end it paid off and allowed us to pay off our debt yeah a lot faster and it made us allow us like it allowed us to kind of um kind of budget now like if we were to go on vacation like it kind of allowed us to budget more and plan ahead with our finances mm -hmm. if we were going to take vacations now compared to how it was before when we weren't really prepared to yeah. take a vacation yeah, like if we wanted good... to take mm -hmm. a vacation we just said okay let's All just right. book a date and let's just like right. just, spend you know, money. just spend money but, but now we made we tweaked our budget we made um, a spreadsheet. To, yeah we made a spreadsheet to kind of um save ahead um how plan much we, like plan out how much we need, we need to need. save ahead for future goals I yeah could say. exactly so um yeah i guess that's what we kind of um learned mm -hmm. in a sense yeah so, just to plan yeah for future expenses exactly or savings exactly so another thing we learned was tracking how to track our expenses on a daily and weekly basis to give us insight on what expenses we could we could cut out during covid and also, I guess we learned too, since Roseanne was out of work and uh, I was still working, um, 
we learn to just depend on each other. Yes, exactly. And understand that, you know, situations happen. And we're a team. Yeah. And we got to go through whatever it is, financial life as a team. Yeah, as a team, and exactly. And talk with each other in terms of what needs to get done and what financial decisions we need to make. Exactly. So that we get into a better outcome, I could say, in the future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much we learned how to cook rather than eating out. <laughs> how to cook. How to cook. I mean, we always knew how to cook, but it, it was more like it, since COVID, you can't really go out to eat. And they had that time period where not a lot of restaurants were open and we weren't able to eat like the foods that we love to eat. So it just kind of forced us to learn how to cook. Experiment. And eat and eat in and experiment on recipes. Yeah. And it allowed us to save money when we eat in. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy how much money you save when you just cook at home. Yeah. So thanks TikTok for all those recipes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so future goals. What are your future goals for twenty twenty one? Next year's goals um, of twenty twenty one, I plan to obviously have Invisalign so I will start my Invisalign treatment in January of 2021 so I work in the dental field so obviously I get a juicy discount on that so that is roughly around um, 1250 and next year I will be starting my laser eye surgery because I am tired of wearing glasses and wearing contacts and I'm just so sick of it and I just want to make that my priority for myself um, for next year so that's roughly I think roughly around four grand I'm not 100% sure if it's less that'd be great but I still have to go in for a consultation and see um, the next thing that I want to save for 2021 is $20,000 in savings so that's just the minimum for me if it could be more then that'd be great but Minimum, I would like to save up 20k in cash. So that's the goal. And then um, now we tweaked our mutual kind of budget. So I'm trying to plan ahead for things now. So I am going to be starting my Christmas funds starting from January, from January to December. Um, so that's the amount I'm gonna save up for 850 for Christmas of. 2021 and then the last thing that I plan to save up for is vacation um, anniversary sometimes me and Paul like to go on trips you know because we gotta do that who knows but you know it's still always good to have a little vacation if we don't go on vacation then I can just save it I'm gonna save up 3,000 for vacation so that roughly accumulates all together kind of 30,000 for 2021? 2021. So you plan to save 30000 by 2021? Yes. Roughly. 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 It could be probably more, but yeah. roughly. What are your goals for 2021? My goals are bills. <laughs> wow! So exciting! <laughs> so, again, I, I did this last year, but... Um, Paul is way better at budgeting. Than basically, me. I save up for bills first, which is property tax first, which is roughly about $1,500 a year. Um, car insurance, which is roughly about $3,500 a year. Um, car maintenance, which is roughly about $1,200 a year. Um, and the things that I'll be saving up for for myself would be savings of $25,000, Christmas, of $850 and vacation of about $5,000. Roughly all together, that's um, me accumulating about $35,000 by the end of 2021. Um, now, how do we do this? So what we do is we break it down. We have a spreadsheet mm -hmm. in our Google Drive. Yes, um, we have a Google Drive that we break down how much money we have to save per paycheck. So it's about 26 paychecks per year. Mm -hmm. And um, we break down each item to see how much money we need to take out from each of our paychecks. 
to save up for these goals goals you could say mm -hmm. and uh, from there at least from that um, uh, savings plan you could say we know for sure that we will be reaching those numbers by 2021 as long as we automate those deposits into yeah. our savings account exactly so that's that's the good thing i guess is once you have a plan in place you break each category down and you take out that much amount of money each paycheck mm -hmm. from from every time you get paid automatically first thing that's the first thing you should do so that you don't see it and by the end of the year you should have that much amount of money mm -hmm. in your savings account exactly for whatever goals that you might have mm -hmm. so i guess we'll see if we actually hit those goals <laughs> next year exactly but uh you'll have you guys will have to wait a year i guess exactly all right to 2021 to 2021 Hiya! <laughs> okay guys so that sums up the video i hope you guys um enjoyed it liked hearing us talk about our struggles and our obstacles and our achievements and our next future goals so thanks guys for watching and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video peace out see ya <laughs>